Well, students at a couple of schools in Shorewood can sleep a little later starting next fall. Todd Hicks is here to explain why. Well, Mike and Carol, students at some schools in Shorewood will be getting a little more rested come next year. Now, that's because the district will push back start times for two of its schools. I I'm really tired in the morning. Olivia Holbrook is a stellar student, but she admits it's tough to stay focused during early morning classes here at Shorewood High. It's hard to be awake and it's hard to um, take the initiative to really get involved in those first two classes. Classes start here at 735 AM. That'll change when the middle and high schools push back the start time by 30 minutes next year. For Chris Perrin, who drives across town to attend here, it'll mean about an hour more sleep every day. It's a struggle. Um, like sometimes the teacher will be talking and they say, you know, I'm just, whoops, I'm, I'm sleeping in the middle of class. Only about 12 minutes will be added to the end of the day. It's possible because the schools will eliminate an early release time on Wednesdays to make up the time. We are now going to move to five days a week having a consistent bell schedule. And so in essence, we're going to be gaining that time back. Parent Carolyn Curran is thrilled with the change, pointing to studies teens need more sleep. I feel like the district responded to just a lot of research that's out there about teenagers and sleep patterns. And a lot of teens out there at school today very happy about that change. The lunch hour will also be just a few minutes shorter, but no days will be added to the school year. Mike and Carol. All right, students get to sleep in a little bit. Thanks, Todd.